So what is diminished value? Well, after your car is wrecked and then repaired again, the diminished value is the difference between the value of your car before it was wrecked and the value of your car after it was wrecked and repaired. So to make this all make sense, you've got a car, it's not been wrecked, it's worth this much money. I don't know, $20,000. Now you've got the very same car, it's wrecked and then it's repaired, it looks perfect. Is it still worth $20,000? Well, what happens when you go to sell your car? What's the first thing anybody does for sort of a higher value car? They run a Carfax or something like that. It looks up the history of your car. They pull up the history of the car and they find that your car has been wrecked. So now, let's say they get to look at your car and they get to look at an exact identical car that's not been wrecked. Well, which one would you buy? You'd buy the one that's not been wrecked because you never know how well the repairs are done. So a repaired car is worth less than a car that's never been wrecked before. And diminished value is the amount of money between the value of your car after it's been repaired versus the value of your car if it never had been wrecked. Now the rules for recovering diminished value vary from state to state. I'm here in Nevada. We don't have any exact statute on point. There's not really an exact case. There's something kind of close. But basically what the law says here is if you've been in an accident and it's not your fault, you may go after the at-fault party, really their insurance carrier, to recover the diminished value of your car, to recover the difference in value between your car having never been wrecked and your car having been wrecked and repaired. Now, if you've got an older car, it's not worth a lot of money. Maybe it's a few hundred dollars, maybe it's a thousand bucks. It's not a lot. You're going to make your best arguments you can to the insurance carrier and try to get the thing settled. If you can't, you might want to take them to small claims court. It doesn't make a lot of sense for you to go hire an attorney to recover a few hundred bucks. Um, however, if you've been in an accident and you're injured, so you've hired an attorney to pursue your personal injury lawsuit, but you also have a diminished value claim, then that same attorney should be including the diminished value claim in your lawsuit because number one, it's efficient, but number two, courts aren't going to want you to have one lawsuit for one accident uh, pursuing personal injuries and then have a second lawsuit for the very same accident pursuing diminished value. So you want to bring those two together. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.